Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Luca and in today's video I want to show you how you can create a custom search bar in Framer. As always, we will build the demo project together and then I will leave the remixed link in the description below so that you can grab the project completely for free. So let's jump into Framer. Okay, so we are now in Framer. I've already set up a very basic project where we are gonna be building our search bar. I'm gonna use this as inspiration. This is a search bar from my website, clicks.supply, which is also where you're gonna be able to find and remix the project we are about to build completely for free. As always, I will leave the link in the description below. So let's start by uh, drawing a frame like this. Okay, let's place it below the title and turn it into a component. I'm gonna call it search bar. Let's start with some styling. So let's start by increasing the height. Uh, for now we are giving a, an arbitrary height but we are gonna set it to fit once we have some content in it. What we can do is now remove the fill, give it some radius and some border. Let's make it gray at 60%. What we can do now is to also turn it into a, a stack by giving it a layout. We're gonna leave it, uh, we're gonna leave the direction to horizontal because we want the search, uh, the search glass, the magnifying glass here and the text here. So we're gonna leave it as horizontal. Let's start by adding the uh, phosphor icon. For the for the search bar let's make it a bit smaller let's change the color and search for magnifying glass perfect right now it's a center align which is not what we want we want to distribute change the distribution to start so it is on the left part of the uh, search bar right now it is uh, it is touching the border which is not what we want, so we're gonna give the container some padding. Let's say 10 and on top and bottom and 18 on the right and left. Perfect. Now let's add some text. Let's say um, search for component. Perfect. This is how it is looking right now, not the best. Oh, because we need to change the height and the width to fill already better let's change it also here we can leave it at 420 let's say perfect uh, let's also give it a hover state so the user knows when it's hovering over with the mouse we are gonna simply change the border from gray to black and i think it's gonna do the trick Let's preview it. Perfect. What we want to do now is to uh, make it functional because right now it's not working. It's not. You cannot use it for to search anything. To do that, we are gonna use the built-in search func functionality. To do that, we can go to Insert and search for Search, and drag and drop it into our inside our component. What we want to do now is to make this search invisible, but make it uh, cover the whole uh, component so that when the user is clicking on the search bar, he is actually clicking the search functionality, which is gonna allow us to make the search bar functional. So let's start by giving a position absolute and give all the constraints to zero, set all the constraints with zero. And what we can do now is to make the opacity at zero. And one little trick, we can also change the cursor to uh, this one, the text one, so that it looks like a normal search bar. If we now try to preview, we see that we can now use the built-in search functionality, but the design is the one we designed. One last thing is to make sure to 
change the uh, search scope to only be on the blog so that when we publish the project we can search for the blog we want all right this was it for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as always i will leave the remix link in the description below if you like the video please consider subscribing and leaving a like and if you have any questions or any topic you would want me to cover feel free to leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one